Welcome everybody to Very Important Geeks and Hot Swaps episode seven. More keyboard upcoming group buys and available goodness. But before we get started, if you've ever sat down to start a typing test and suddenly forgot completely how language or typing works, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more nonsense. Now for all you custom keycap and artisan makers out there, let's start with the Synth 3.2 keycap mold. Now this unit is gonna be made out of all 6063 aluminum and the kit includes the base, the mold box, the backing plate, and the stem. Currently the 1U GMK set is sold out, but the 1U OR set for OEM profile is still available. So go check it out on Novel Keys. Next up, something a little bit different, but still typing related. Are you a generally chilly person? Do you find yourself always having cold fingers? Are you a penguin? Then maybe check out these hand warmers from Kono. Now they seem kind of silly, but I've actually known quite a few people who have a lot of chilly fingers or just generally get cold in the office when they're typing or they have to sit in a place where they're under air conditioning vents a lot. So these aren't really like gloves. They're more like socks for your hands. Typing socks. They're typing socks. Okay, moving on. And next up in our first entry from drop.com is the GK64X, available for pre-order now, shipping in December. Now the GK64X is gonna be a 60% layout keyboard, but it's gonna have a non-standard shift. If you look at this picture here, you can see it's kind of a one U size shift in order to accommodate some arrow keys. So just something to be on the lookout for. It also supports a split space bar, uses a USB-C cable and features a high profile ABS plastic case. The PCB supports per key RGB and also features five pin kale hot swap sockets, as well as plate mounted stabilizers. It does come with software support for music and rhythm controls, custom macros, as well as three layers of definitions and all for 80 bucks, not bad at all. And second from drop.com is the MK870 TKL. This is also available for pre-order shipping in January of next year. Now this one is kind of unique because it is TKL 87 key layout. It features hot swappable switch sockets, function layer editing, full anti-ghosting, full RGB LEDs, pre-lubed plate mounted stabilizers, a nice touch, some noise dampening materials, programmable with included software and driver, and adjustable feet. And now here's where it gets a little weird. It connects via USB-C, but there are three different USB-C ports. I'm not sure that all of them are functional or available all the time. I don't know if they support pass-through of any kind, but I think it's really just to allow you to insert your USB-C on any side that makes the most sense in your setup, either from the back or one on each side. And getting all of that for $54, that's a great deal. Now let's talk about the GMK Modern Dolch Lite, another lovely rendition of the Dolch series. The Dolch keycap sets have always been fairly understated, but nice, simple, elegant keycap sets. And this one is no different, going with a lighter theme with sort of light grays, whites, um, sort of mid grays, but then also nice pops of pink and sort of teal color. And as typical with GMK sets, they're gonna be double shot ABS in cherry profile. And the GMK Modern Dolch Lite set accommodates a whole bunch of different configurations. So you got a nice set to choose from. If you've been in the market for a stacked acrylic keyboard for a while and just haven't found one, well, good news, everybody. They are back at Canon Keys and you have a whole bunch to choose from. 60, 65%, 75%, TKLs and 1800 layouts are available now in various statuses of in stock or not at the time of this filming, but go check it out if you're looking for a stacked acrylic keyboard. Also currently in stock at the key.company company are the TKC 1800 keyboards. These feature a brand new ABS case from Cherry available in light gray or black. What makes this unique to TKC is that they've modified it a little bit to accommodate a switch plate. They've also added a front diffuser, installed a rear plaque and added folding feet so you can adjust the typing angle. Now the PCB is gonna be QMK and VIA compatible and it's gonna be hardwired using a mini USB. And the switches are also gonna be MX and ALPS compatible. It also has in-switch LED and indicator LED support. Now the plate itself is gonna be aluminum and 1.5 millimeters thick in your choice of various colors. And of note, the MX plate is gonna require PCB mounted cherry style screw in stabilizers. Now included in each kit are gonna be six three millimeter LEDs for the indicator lights. Now you only need three, but they include six anyway, just in case you're human, you mess up. Now the LEDs do correspond to the plate color that you choose. For the red plate, you get the red LED. For the violet plate, you get the purple LED. For the black plate, you get the blue LED. For green plate, you get the green LED. And for the carbon plate, you also get the blue LED. 
Next up, let's talk about the SA Polyclear keycap sets, one of the more interesting keycap sets I've seen lately. Now these are gonna be sculpted high profile SA keycaps made out of a clear polycarbonate plastic. Now these are really made to show off your PC switches if you have a nice cool colored switch that you wanna show or if you have something interesting like the TTC heart switches that actually have a little heart inside them that you can see through. And it comes in highly modular kitting, so you don't have to outfit your whole keyboard with them, although you can. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of colored keycap sets and then maybe just use the Efro as the clear or the number pad as clear or just the alphas or some other combination, but I think they look pretty slick. Gives you a nice different look to your keyboard. Now you can get all the kits separately or you can get the bundle, which includes all of the kits for $1.99. I think that makes for $15 off if you add them all together. So not bad at all. And now available from KBD fans as a group buy, let's talk about the Phase 1 65% keyboard. Now this keyboard was inspired by the Phase 1 alarm clock designed by prolific designer Dieter Rams, who used to design for the Braun Company back in the day. Now his designs were very iconic for being functional with nothing being really ornamental, everything had a purpose. Now there have been a lot of discussions on the Reddit threads and various geek hack forums about whether the Phase 1 65% aesthetic as it's been designed is really honoring that less but better, but there's no doubt that the inspiration for this is certainly modeled after Dieter Rams' designs and the Phase 1 alarm clock. Now the Phase 165 is gonna be available in soldered or hot swap PCB configurations, and it will be a gasket mounted 65% board. And it will come in gray, e-white, or e-beige colors in window key or window keyless layouts. And you're gonna have your choice of full or half plates available in aluminum, brass, polycarbonate, or FR4 variants. The keyboard has a seven degree typing angle, will come with case foam and PCB foam and include KBD fan screw and stabilizers. I personally think it's a very good looking board. I love Dieter Rams, I love the old Braun designs. And I think this one, while there may be a little more ornamentation than a true Dieter Rams design would have, I still think it looks really good. And more from KBD fans, what is the point of all these group buys and keyboards if you can't show them off every now and then? So why not pick up a couple of keyboard stands from KBD fans? Now these stands are made out of two acrylic pieces and galvanized iron that screw in together with stainless steel screws. And you get four different color choices, brown, black, white, or blue. And each stand will display two keyboards. And I think they're a good buy, because once you get into this hobby, never underestimate how many keyboards you will actually own. So why not go ahead and display them? And they're not terribly expensive. At $19 each, it's a nice way to show off your cool, cool collection. Next from the Prevail Key Company, something called Switch Tripods. These are the first times I've seen something like this, but they are meant to attach directly to your switch. They're like little foam stickies that go right under the switch and help to deepen the sound, maybe by muting a little bit. I haven't had the chance to play with these myself, but I think that's that's the whole purpose of these. So imagine that you didn't want to, or you couldn't open up your keyboard to add any case foam to sort of dampen or deepen that sound a little bit. These switch tripods provide a nice way of being able to put the muting on the switch itself without having to take apart everything else. Next up, we have the C11 macro pad, a super unique macro pad that comes with a little bit something extra. So not only do you get an 11 key macro pad, but it comes with a fully functioning mini monitor that you can use to display a whole bunch of different stuff. And it's really cool because it uses the old retro, uh, old Apple II, I think, style um, monitor. So you can use a monitor to display useful stuff like reminders, calendar events, weather, the time, or you can use it as something purely ornamental and show like an electronic photo album. Even though it is a really small monitor, it supports a fairly good 1200 by 1080 resolution and has a 90 hertz refresh rate. This is almost like a mini gaming monitor if you want to game on something that small. Now the macro pad will support USB-C and the monitor supports full size HDMI. Now both the macro pad and the monitor use all aluminum and brass components. Now if you're interested in getting one, make sure you read the fine print to know which sort of graphics card it will support and work for. Now the monitor itself supports Intel Core graphics, Nvidia and AMD graphics, as well as Mac Windows OS. Not compatible however are AMD Core, PlayStation or Xbox graphics. Now the macro pad itself is 11 keys so you can put all 11 1U keys, but it also supports a space bar and it's hot swappable. It's got an 800 milliamp hour battery to support Bluetooth functionality as well, and it has per key RGB. Now it's an expensive, but super interesting, super neat accessory for your desk. The macro pad is super useful, and 
the monitor itself could be useful, could just be decoration. Either way, it's just cool. Next up, we have the KL90 wood case from Barrett Creative. Now this is available as a group buy until October 14th or until all 300 units are sold out. These are gonna be made to order. There will be no extra. So if you're interested in any way, go ahead and put yourself down for one. Now the KL90 group buy is for the case only. If you wish for the PCB or the FR4 plates, there are other group buys to join available on their page. And you'll have the choice of four variants. Woodland will be made out of walnut, Mariner made out of Sapelli, Rustic is made out of white oak, and Shadow is made out of Wangi. Being an amateur woodworker myself, I super appreciate this. I can appreciate the artistry and the craftsmanship that comes with making a fully wood keyboard case. And I'm familiar with all of these woods. They're very nice quality, fairly hard hardwoods. So you can expect them to take a little bit of abuse. Although it is wood, so I wouldn't just like throw it from your second story. And next up, yes, I'm wearing a different shirt because this is a different day because sometimes filming do be like that. But I want to talk about the Ginkgo 65, a collaboration between WooQ Studios and M1. Now this group by closes on October 10th and what WooQ Studios have done with the Ginkgo 65 is that they have tried to make a very bouncy typing experience that doesn't sound hollow. And the result is a 65% keyboard with an aluminum two-tone case that's available either anodized or in an e-coating. It's an isolated gasket mount with poron strips and a seven degree typing angle. And it comes with a hot swap PCB and a daughter board. And as far as colorways, you get an e-white top and an e-white bottom, an e-white top and a copper aluminum bottom, a black top and a copper aluminum bottom, a green top with black bottom, or a silver top and gray bottom. Included in the kit are gonna be the top case, bottom case, polycarbonate plate, hot swap PCB with daughter board, poron gaskets, poron dampeners between the plate and PCB, PE foam between the plate and PCB, case foam between the PCB and bottom case, washers, screws, and rubber feet. So right off the bat, I think this is a beautiful looking keyboard. I love the colorways. I love the back plate. Very simple, very elegant, very minimalistic. And I'm really interested in seeing what the sound signature is gonna be like. There are a lot of other YouTubers that have been able to get their hands on this. So go check out those channels, check out those videos. But it looks to me, and it sounds like to me, this is gonna be a nice, jelly competitor. If you happen to missed out on that one, the Jelly Epoch, maybe try out for this one. If you've been looking for the KBD67 Lite for a while now and you missed out on the last group round, go ahead and check out Divinity Keys. The KBD67 Lite continues to be a great entry-level option for a 65% keyboard kit. It's got QMK and VIA support, comes with a PC plate and KBD fan screw and stabilizers, and it comes in a variety of colors such as black, gray, transparent, transparent Tiffany, gray and white, and pink. Now you can get the wired version with RGB and hot swap PCB, or you can get the dual mode wired and Bluetooth 4.0 with hot swap PCB. Just realize the Bluetooth and hot swap version does not come with RGB. It also doesn't come with the battery to support the Bluetooth, so you'll have to get that separately. Now let's take a look at the DSS Incognito, which closes October 16th. This keycap set is available from Signature Plastics made out of double shot ABS. Just want you to look at those colors. Look at those novelties. Look at those letters. Look at that desk mat. You know I know. Shame. Just kidding, no judgment. Just clear your browser history. And last on the list, something purely fun, a big old switch. Who doesn't love big old switches? So these big switches are four times larger in every dimension than a regular switch, which means it's 64 times larger in overall volume. That's a big switch. And they're fully functional, so if you happen to find yourself a giant keyboard, go ahead and order a bunch of these. And all these switches come with the matching keycaps. Each switch and each keycap is for a different thing. The yellow means it's a linear version, which you can see on the side of the keycap, it says clack. And the burnt orange is tactile, so it says bump. And the blue is clicky, so it says click. Simple, fun, easy to remember, kind of a stress reliever fidget toy. What could go wrong? Or you can get one and maybe set it up as one giant macro button. Who knows? The world is yours. And that's it for today's Hot Swaps. I hope you found something that you are excited about. Let me know in the comments what it is. And stay tuned next time where we will be reviewing Keychron's latest ultra slim, ultra portable K7. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Support me on Patreon if you can. And until next time, geek out. Know that you know. You know, I know, you know, no. I know that you know, I know. <laughs>